Hi again, it's Brenda. <laughs> when we were together last, I had only done the three um, tags, but for this one, I had put four. So we'll do an extra one, and plus I just put uh, paper on one of the pockets, and I thought, wait a minute, I would like to bring you guys along with me. So I just took some of my scrap paper that I still had on my desk, and I just added it to the front and back. I haven't closed up the pockets yet, and I was just working on this one, and I thought that's when I figured I better get the camera back on. All right, so I'm just going to move this aside because we there's a mess going on. And yeah, that's okay. It just, just shows creativity at work. <laughs> so this will be the second part, I guess, rather than waiting. I thought, let's just get back together and uh, do some stuff. I I didn't want to, you know, I just felt that I was leaving you hanging probably myself as well but just I don't know it was just odd I'm just cutting off the white and this this had been a freebie um, and I'm sorry it's been quite some time so I don't even remember I've just had it sitting on my computer so um, yeah if you recognize it and you know who it's from, or if it's from you, then please let me know in the comments so that I can uh, give you credit because I don't want to ignore someone who has created something and then I use it and I don't remember. So I just don't want to do that. All right, so I'm hoping that this is going to fit. I kind of did a quick measure but I'm just kind of piecing things together now and why not things don't have to be like one perfect um, bit you know I'm just gonna I know I put too much glue on it I did it right to the end so I'm just gonna take that off and what I should have done is put glue on here, but for this one, I'm just going to measure. Oh, yeah, and that fits. Fits just right. There we go. Yeah, I, I figured I might as well just stay here in the craft room and carry on with this because it's just something that I want to do. I'm going to go for a walk later on and enjoy some of the weather. And yeah, I'm supposed to have a craft day today with Tracy, so I've, I'm looking forward to that. We usually craft over um, FaceTime because she's living in BC. So, and then there's, there's another one. So that's the two. So now for the tag that I forgot all about doing, oops, just move that. I do have these ladies and what is awesome is that they both fit on I'm just going to use my cutter and cut the white off. Yeah, sometimes when my hand is bothering me, I need to I need to help it out and use a cutter. Or Tom, my husband, he is so wonderful and he helps me fussy cut when I need it when I need to fussy cut and my, you know, I'm having issues, he will help me. It's just so sweet that way. Yeah. And now, so this, and what I do is I put it up to the, to the light 
to make sure that I'm not going to be, you know, cutting the head off or whatever. And then if you want, you can put a little uh, pencil mark just where the tip of your page is going to go. You think I could find a pencil? Goodness. Craft room and there's... So there. So I just put a little tick right there at the top. And then that will lay the... <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, that's where the top of my paper will lay. And then I know at least it's uh, where I would like it to be. But Liz's kits are wonderful in that they all, you can put them all together as well. And, uh, you know, you, they'll be, they all suit each other. I don't even know what the expression is, but the kits, they look beautiful together. Because it's all, you know, they're... Paris and they're French and they're just scrumptious pages. There we go. I know if you you don't want, want to watch me cut, just fast forward it. That's the beauty of video. If there's a part you don't want to see, you know, you can just press that button and get to the next bit, which is always a plus. I don't do it very often because I think if I do that, then there might be something that I miss if I'm intent and I'm going to keep this little piece as well. And so look at that. They're so pretty. So we'll do the back and then I just use the opposite side. And then I think I'm going to use this side to uh, do it for the other one. It was this side. Should I just leave it the same? I mean, sometimes if you don't use digitals, like I've only started using digitals. Uh, a few months back like yes I get free uh, freebies and stuff like that and I use that but I'm talking um, like kits I've never used digital kits before so it's a new experience and it is thoroughly enjoyable using kits and because you have everything um, that you need together there's no guesswork. There's no, um, oh, I don't know what the word is, but you have everything that coordinates with that paper. You know and I mean? Like pockets and journaling cards and tags and all the little ephemera bits all together, which is fun. Mind you, I do like to mix things up quite a bit when I'm when I'm making stuff and that's the, that's the fun of it and you don't have to have uniformity like you don't have to have everything the same I have a I have a few journals that are just hodgepodge and I love them they're so fun because it just frees you from I don't know Maybe I'm just talking nonsense, but it just frees you from the preconception that everything has to match and be the same. So anyway, enough of that nonsense. All right, so there's our last one, and I'm just going to cut the corners. And I won't bore you by inking everything. I'll do that off camera. But um, all right, so there are our four... And then I have two pockets made. 
but let me see what I'm gonna do. So this one, this one, the ladies, and then the lines. And what's nice about this, you can dress these up if you want as well. You don't have to have them just blank like that, which is probably what I'll do. But I, let's just see. I'm going to put one of them there and one of them there. And so we need one more pocket for in there. And I just have this. And then I'm just looking around for some more scraps because that's what I have left now. <laughs> it's just my scraps. So let's see here. And I mean, you can come back and you can use these as well. So let's try that. Let's dress up one of the pockets with this. And I'm going to use this page because this one is easier to uh, cut in that the, the lines are more defined in it. So just gonna, let's see. Yep, I think I'm gonna just put it right there. Make sure I have the top at the top. Sorry if I'm off screen. I just don't want my head there. I don't want to lean over too far and you see my mug. Eh, you don't need to see that. All right, so I'm just gonna turn it to the side. Let's move this for a second. And then, let's see, just, I think I'd like that at the top. Just like that. Make it a little straighter. The wet glue, you have a second to move things. So that's really good. And this is on cardstock. These, so the ends that I cut off, I'm gonna keep. Because they'll make great pieces. Careful not to cut the bottom off. Cut hole in the bottom, that wouldn't be good. That means I would just be pulling out my washi tape to close it up. So there we go. Love that airplane. All right, and then this one, it's a little shorter, you see? Which is fine because I'm going to, let me just cut this. We'll do this one a different way. I'll just cut this off first. All right, and I'm just gonna add glue to the half of it. And if there's not enough glue, you can just come back and uh, add it on. Oops, make sure I have the top. <laughs> Double check. There we go. Oh yeah, and then this is perfect because then at the bottom, I can put a pocket. So that worked out really well. I'm just gonna pull it over a little more. <laughs> and then I can come back and add a little bit of glue in here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna cut this piece off. Oh. There we go. 
and that's the top of the pocket. And then you can just come back with uh, something here and, oh yes, like look at that. Perfect little tuck spot because we have those postcards and little bits of ephemera that can be added. So I'm just gonna put it there. Oh yes, lovely. And I'll just cut the little tip off. Just like that. So there's a pocket. So pretty. Oh my goodness. I love that pocket. That is just adorable. All right. So I think that's the third pocket. All right. So we have our three, four tags. Let me bring this one back in. I'd like that one to be in the front. And then let's see here. We'll put this pocket here. Put this pocket maybe that way. And then this pocket can go near the back. And then there we are. Lovely. Four tags, three pockets. Right, so let's just close these up. You can use washi tape to close them if you want, and that way you don't lose any of your pocket space. I do try to get it close to the edge, but my hands are kind of shaky, so it doesn't always work. I end up with more hills than uh, flat. <laughs> But that's okay. It is what it is. All right. Grab the other one. And then I know in the first video I had asked, um, you know, if we should do rings as the uh, binding or, or the uh, cotton. But I think because we have two of them made, we will do both. I just think that's a great idea. We'll get, we'll do one of each and then either way, uh, more can be added. So this is the last one. And then in the other one, I put thumb notches. So we'll do that with this one too. So there's that. And then of course you can ink it up however you would like to do it. There. This one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. All right. Let me pop the lid on my glue the pin. All right, let's add some pockets or little tuck spots, shall we, before we get too far ahead of ourselves here. So I have just the off cuts. These are great. And if you only have them printed on copy paper, then just back them with, uh, well, anything you can back them with. So I'm just going to Add a little tuck spot there. And then this is where you can come in and you can start inking. Like the edges can be inked any time, but if you're wanting to add little things to your tags, then it's best to ink them up before you start. Okay, and I'm not going to go right to the bottom. There we go. And then I, let's find my, uh, I 
I have just a few of the postcards cut out and then one can go there. You know, and I don't think on the tags, I'm not yet anyway, I'm not going to put pockets on the tags yet. We'll see. All right. So then that can go there. And then you can put another one on the back if you want. Or, uh, ah, get off me. <laughs> Let's see here. You can have a tuck spot at the side. Like these are just ideas for you, you know, but you can do anything you want. I mean, the sky is the limit when it comes to uh, decorating and adding uh, goodness to your to your creations. There we go. I'm just going to make it a little side tuck, just like that. I mean, you can add. Oh my goodness, you can just go crazy with the lace. You can add flowers, butterflies, anything you want. There's no, no rules. And I say that all the time. There are no rules when it comes to creating. And then I have another one of the little journaling cards. Or no, sorry, it's a postcard. But that can go right there. I didn't put it down uh, all the way because the glue is still wet. And then we have that. What else do we have here? I really like that stamp. I was going to cut it out and then I thought, no, I'm going to just leave it on here because it can be, the whole thing can be used. And these are all on cardstock. That's why I'm, uh, I'm not too concerned about being flimsy because it's on cardstock. Yeah, my, my sponge is falling apart. All right, so it's going to go there. And I try not, you don't even have to put it there. You can put it here if you want. Oh, that looks nice actually right there. Okay. There we go. Yeah, you don't have to put pockets at the bottom just because it's a pocket. You can put it anywhere you want on your page. If you want to put it at the top, put it at the top and then it can be an up tuck instead of, instead of putting something in your pocket like this, it could be up like that. And I think we'll do that one for the next one. How's that? That I'm not going to put anything on there because you can still write on there if you want. Or, um, you know, I'll just see how, how it goes. All right, so let's do a... Let me just trim this off. Okay, and so something like that can go there, and then something else could be tucked up inside. So let's do that, and I know this is a postcard, but that's okay. It adds interest to the, to the tag, and that's always a good thing. So I'm going to put my hand here at the bottom because I don't want to glue there. And you can just tuck things up. Just like that. And I'm just going to go below where the tag 
things are there, the cuts are. Just like that. And then I have a little card there and that can go up inside just like that. And then that one I'll leave. This one I'll leave. And then because this is the back of the page, I would like to add a little something there. Maybe put the tuck spot on this side this time. Just ink it up a little. So I hope you're all able to craft today get into your, I call this my happy place, because I can just come in and create. I managed to do some cleaning, but then you know what happens. I don't know if you're the same, but I, I start cleaning and I have to make myself not look at things because I get all these ideas in my head and then I want to stop and I want to make something and it's like, no, I need to clean. So, yeah. All right. And then I just have another one of the little postcards in there. And that can sit in there. And then we have the back. And the back, well, something can just be added, right? If you wanted. Those are a little too big. But then I can put this as a pocket, I think. And it can be written on if you'd like because it's a lighter color, which is all fun. All right, and then I'm just going to glue three sides. Oops. And I'm just gonna put it on the line. I'm not gonna bring it right to the bottom, just like that. And I mean, if you are giving your stuff away after you make them or you're selling them, then you can sign just at the bottom. All right, so there we go. And what I didn't do is put in a thumb notch into these. And I just have my whale tail punch. Oh, boy. And just... Just putting a little, a little punch in there, just like that. Just to, oh, I need to add something into that little tuck spot. It's going through file folder plus two pieces of paper, so. Oh no, that's a tag. Don't do it, Brenda. Were you hollering? Don't. <laughs> It was close. Oh, that one doesn't want to work. So let's see if I can uh, use my scissors because it's pretty thick. It's going to be a little rough, but better than it completely tearing. So that's the tuck spot there. So I'm just going to add that one in there. And where was that other one? Uh, right here. So then that one's pretty tall. But I can come back and just add in something on its side. Let's just cut this piece off. Like These are all usable scraps. So there, they can be used just like that. All right. So this one, hmm. Let's make this one with the rings. Just gonna grab my, this is a We Are Memory Keeper. It's a, their mini crocodile, I believe it's called. 
but I'm going to do the first one. I just got to grab my pencil and I don't normally measure, but I'm just going to have two rings. So, um, and you can do uh, ring enforcers if you'd like. And then, I don't know, I probably didn't even have to do the marks because you can, you can put this in at half an inch. Like you have all your markings there in inches and in centimeters. So I'm going to go in half an inch. It's, I think that would be, well, maybe a little less. Actually, five eighths. And then I'll just show you what that looks like. There we go. And I, okay, I did it good. So there's the two holes. And you can put reinforcers on there. You can use your grommets and you can put them through there. I don't know if it needs it, but so now for each piece, I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark it. And then that gives me my spot to make the hole. just like that and the paper gets stuck in there but that's okay it doesn't take much to come out just put that back in there so then there's that and then our ladies and I always use the same one to uh, mark. What do we got going on here? All right. So I guess this is our front. Didn't mean for it to be, but it's going to be. And I just try to make them even. And then just do that. And I could probably just mark all the circles at the same time. I think I will. There. <laughs> I know this part's not very exciting, I apologize. But, uh, Just got to get them done and then you can just pop them out and then the rings can go on and last one and then at least they're straight you won't have any wonky uh, pieces Papers get stuck, but there. Sorry if I'm off camera. If you can see my head, I definitely apologize for that. <laughs> you don't need to see my head. Oh my goodness. All right. Just about done. Oh, I don't want to put the holes through those little things. I'll just move them over. They were on a slant in the pockets, so. <sighs> kind of hard to do. My, my hands don't want to cooperate. It's not a hard thing to push. It's just a pain sometimes. 
There's that, and then the last one, and then we'll pop it together. And then you can uh, see what that looks like. All right, get all the garbage out of the way. Okay. There, there, put those back down. And it's okay if they're tall. It's, you know, it's whatever. Whoops. Oh, yes, we did the up tuck. <laughs> that confused me. There, and then the tag, and then the pocket. So something's backwards. This and this. The tag, pocket. Oh, there we go. Tag, pocket, tag. All right, and look at how pretty that is. And then you have all the holes in the same spot, which is what you need. And then you can add you can add ribbon to these rings if you want. You can add lace. You can put dangles on them to pretty it up. And what's beautiful is you can keep adding to it. You don't have to stop because there's a lot of room on those rings. And so when you open it, you have all your pages and you have your pockets. Oh my goodness, I love it. Well, I'm so glad I did two of them because now we can have one of each. So how fun. And then we have our letters and the envelopes. So let's just, I think this one I, Oh, I did fold this one. Okay. I was just trying to straighten it up, I guess. Because when you have those extra folds, but see, there's, it's not um, small enough to fit in there. So that's where I can come in and then just do an extra little fold right there. I never thought of that when I was first trying to do it, so that worked out well. So like this, and then like this, and then just fold it over like that. And then that can go into one of the pockets. Let's do that right now. We'll pop it into the first one. Yeah, I just wanted to show a complete, wanted to do actually, not just show, a complete uh, project with you. And then you can just expand on it. You can just carry on and keep it going. And so this one here, let me just grab my cutter. And I'm going to trying to figure out I think it's there so this is our letter and then this where the lines are to me is the envelope so there's my ruler ruler likes to disappear so I just put my ruler there and run my finger at the back of it or your bone folder, whatever you like. I just thought my my finger would be all right. And then this one is like that. There we go. So I'm just going to but you can use your you can use your scoreboard if you have one of those. And then see, it makes, it makes a lovely little envelope. And then this letter, I just sort of folded it in threes. Just like you would another uh, little start of an envelope. But then and then when you ink it up, if you're going to ink, then it's it looks all uh, vintage and old. 
grungy, you know, like it's been around a long time. And then it just slips in. It's a little tight, but I think this is the one where the glue was a little bit of a hill. And then there you go, that's the second pocket. And then the third one, again, this is, I'm just going to follow the lines. Grab my bone folder this time, maybe. There. And I'm just following the lines that are on there. And then it's easier to fold, too which is nice. There we go. So then I'm just going to fold on my lines that I made. And if you don't like the little white edges, then just um, cut them off. But uh, just need it straight. Lovely. Like I won't do any inking. I'll do that all off camera just so that, you know, you're not having to sit and watch. Goodness. And then there's the other one. And I folded in the tuck, but you don't have to. You can leave it hanging out if you want. But let's just, let's just tuck it in for, and there we go. <laughs> so there's that oh my goodness I can't believe we actually did all of it and then the lace you can add laces and you can add anything I won't do that right now but I mean like look just you can just add pieces just add a piece anywhere in here but I will take it apart and I'm going to ink it and I don't know if I'm going to add much else because I love it. I love it. It is so, so pretty. And I have one of these left. But I mean, these can be added into your pockets as well. But I just thought popping the letters in there. Was that too long? Yeah, it's a bit too long in there. And that one's... Yeah, so I'll have to figure out what I'm going to do with this one. Oh, never mind. I just figured it out. Uh, and there we go oh my goodness it's just so awesome and we never did use um use my guy there but um let's I'm just gonna cut out this label I'm gonna try and do it quick so if you would just bear with me for a second I would appreciate it. I'm not the world's greatest cutter, but I'm okay with that. My ink sponge. Just ink it up quickly. And then I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to make it a side tuck. Maybe I should do it here and do the side tuck there. I think that'll look better. And then the little pieces that I have left, all the little scrappies, can be um, mini tags. Yeah, I think that'll be a great idea. There we go. And then just put it right there. Doesn't have to be to the edge. Can just be over a little bit. There we go. Just do a couple more things and then I'll let you go. But 
I didn't want to have all this fun without you. So this piece, it's just a, a scrap and it's on cardstock. I'm just going to fold it in half because again, that can be a secret writing spot, right? And I'm just gonna nip off the corners just like that. Where's my bone folder? Just make that a little crisp. And then that can go right inside. This one, same deal. And then you can come back. Well, I'm going to be inking everything and I will show you how what that looks like. And then there. And then that can go right in there. Just like that. And whoa, wow. It just added that much more to it. All right, so I'm going to let you go. Tell me what your thoughts are. What do you think of this little project? I'm happy that uh, I came back on to uh, finish it up like this. And decorations, if I do any major decorating and stuff, well, we'll do a final flip through of it after it's, uh, after it's completed because we still have the second one. And this one, uh, when we come back, We'll do the, we'll do the fabric, the cotton. I think I've, I've uh, kept you long enough today, so I'll let you go and have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you so much for being here and for hanging out. Have a very blessed rest of your day. Bye for now.